Hey guys, it's Kaylin here at Full Purpose and Heart, and in today's video, I'm gonna share with you another amazing resource from Evan Moore that you can use when you're teaching in your science subject. So today's is going to be this STEM um, work workbook. It's called STEM Lessons and Challenges, and they have this workbook that's available for preschool through sixth grade. Now, the preschool through sixth, or th Preschool, kindergarten, and first grade books are called Smart Start STEMs, and I've done other reviews on these ones, but today I wanna highlight the older grades, so this one is grade three, and how they're different and how you can use them in your classroom. So if you're interested, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, friends, so if you have been following along in my channel, then you will know that my second graders science curriculum is kind of pieced together from several different sources. One of those sources that I decided to use this year was the Evan Moore STEM Lessons and Challenges books. So if you're new to STEM, STEM stands for Science, Technology, uh, engineering and math, and it's just a way to introduce concepts to your student in a new, fun, exciting, kind of hands-on way. And one of the things that I really love about STEM is especially these Evan Moore ones. I'm not sure about other resources because I have not used them, but I, what I love about this is that each of the lessons has kind of like a project that the child does as STEM has, that, I think that's like a STEM thing, um, but with these projects, they give you like a list of items that you could use and it really allows the student to use their brain to think of a different way that they can use these everyday objects. So for example, if you give your student like a straw and you say, how can we use this as a part of this project we're doing? Straws are typically used to like put in your cup and drink your, your beverage. But in this activity, now your student is being required to use their brain to think, well, how can I use this straw in a different way? So it's really been fun. We used it last year with my when we were in first grade and it's just kind of fun to integrate either through the course of your whole science study or just to kind of spread sprinkle in here and there depending on you know what it is that you're learning about. So make sure that you head over to Evan Moore so you can do a better look in the book and it'll really show you what different activities are in there and see if it fits. Um, whether you're doing this for a full curriculum, like you wanna start on page one and go all the way to the end, or if you just wanna pick it up because you'll be learning about environments and so you wanna build a dam, or you're gonna be learning about um, whatever, the wind, and so you wanna build a uh, one of the, what are they called? The air, aerators or whatever? Eek! I forget how you call them. Let me look. An anemometer, which will um, measure the atmosphere. Okay, so you're gonna cover earth science, life science, and physical science. A couple of things to note. So in my previous video when I did like the younger grades, they're full color books and I love full color. You lose that when your kids get older. So I told my students that they can't get older. We, you know, side note, when I was teaching high school, my, like always, the first couple weeks of school, I was always like, I feel like I should be teaching elementary school because I always wanted to like put stickers and I use lots of color all over my whiteboard and I wanted to like give out, anyway, I like that part of school and you lose that when they get older, but anyway, it's still really well made. So all of the units, there are 15 units in this book, and I've mentioned this in previous Evan Moore videos, but you can either, it, it's great because in homeschool, we rarely do science every single day, at least in our school, and I think that's pretty typical um, depending on the curriculum that you use. But we do science two or three times a week. So with a 15 subject book, that lasts us almost the duration of our full school year. It's 30 weeks, obviously. So, um, so that's really great because you can either stretch it out or you can make it go really quick if you feel like you want to do that. And maybe you wanna do like BJU Press does it where you do science in one semester and then you do history in the second semester. So this allows you to decide how quickly or how slow you wanna get through the material. And each lesson is built out so that at the beginning you're gonna have like a teacher introductory page that'll just explain what the project is and what the focus is, what's the learning objective, and how you can approach it with your student. And then you're gonna have a reading section which you will share with your child and kind of read through. It's just a couple paragraphs, like for example, here's the DMs one. 
and you just read through. It has vocabulary words that you can focus on and that sort of thing. Uh, we do have some pictures over here too that just kind of explain, but again, they're black and white. So make sure you tell your kids you can't grow up because <laughs> you lose that as you grow older. Anyway, and then you get the chance to actually build, like for this one, it's you get to build a dam or you get to make what it is that you're focusing on during that unit. And it'll give you a list of objects. And like I said, your student can then kind of think, well, how can I use this object in a different way to make it valuable or useful for this activity? Um, and then you get to try to do the activity or try to make it. If it fails, they have, um, they've got actual like reproducible pages here for the experiment. Um, and then if it fails, they give you a second one and it says redesign up on the top. Like how are we going to change what we had done previously that now we're gonna be able to um, make it work better. So anyway, it's just a really awesome resource that you can do to get those ideas. Now, you can go to Pinterest and kind of see the mass numbers of pictures that are up there and recreate it for yourself or if you want to, which what I would do and I have done and recommend is if you invest a little bit of money into a resource where it's already been done for you, it saves you so much stress, so much time, especially as a homeschooler. I feel like whenever you can find something that's been done and been done well, then it really provides so much value to your homeschool life and to your personal life because when you're not schooling, then you're not spending time preparing for school, which is super important because sometimes us homeschoolers feel like we're always schooling because if we're not in school, we're preparing for school. And that's not a fun way to live. So anyway, I highly recommend this. This is awesome for your science units. Um, and of course it does cover technology and math as well because science and math are kind of interrelated. So it makes it fun and interesting and quick. Um, you can make them short, as I mentioned before, or you can you know, stretch the duration out over the course of a full school year, which is what we'll be doing. So anyway, make sure you check that description box below. I will put a link over to Evan Moore so that you can check out all of their STEM pay or books that they have. Uh, like I mentioned, it's up through sixth grade. And then those younger books, where did I put it? Those younger books do look like this and they are structured slightly differently, but the concepts are the same. They're just more colorful and geared, of course, towards your younger, your younger kids. So anyway, thanks so much for watching. Hopefully you found some value. If it's something that you are looking into, give me some love and give me a thumbs up there in the comments below. And if you have questions, you can always ask me and I'll try to answer them as best I can. So anyway, make sure also that you check out those other Evan Moore product videos that I've got. Um, I've made a playlist list of just the Evan Moore products because quite a few of their products I've been using in my classroom. So I have several of these uh, preview videos just to kind of like show and tell about some options that are out there for you. Anyway, thanks so much for watching guys and we'll catch you in another one. Mm -hmm.